Hi there, I'm Dr. Jim Collins. Thank you for spending a few moments with me. I'd like to talk about Alzheimer's disease, but especially the depression that comes along with Alzheimer's disease and so many other neurological disorders. Alzheimer's, as you know, is the most common cause of dementia among elderly people. Depression or depressive symptoms can and many times do accompany Alzheimer's disease. It can complicate everything about Alzheimer's disease in so many ways. It can increase emotional suffering, disability. It increases the likelihood that that individual might need a nursing home sooner than later. And unfortunately, it can accelerate death. Depression and depressive symptoms are common in Alzheimer's and other neurological disorders. For instance, Parkinson's, Huntington's, vascular dementia, and Pick's disease. A particularly interesting relationship may exist between depression and Alzheimer's disease. Let me explain. Depression can be one of the very first symptoms involved in the development of Alzheimer's disease. In other words, depression can be a risk factor or even a predictor of Alzheimer's. So which is it? Sometimes it's so difficult to see the symptoms of depression and the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. Early Alzheimer's and depression may have similarities and may be very difficult to distinguish. Dementia can look like depression and depressive symptoms can look like confusion. And this can all be very confusing. That's why I wrote an article on it. So follow the, uh, the link below, click on the link below to check out the article. And if you're interested and you are a licensed healthcare professional looking for CEUs, follow that link to CEUs in this area and many others. My name is Dr. Jim Collins. Thank you for spending some time with me. Stay well.